Good morning, everybody. We are at a place called Tokati Falls. Um, we're doing Tokati Falls and Umqua Hot Springs, otherwise known as right, Tokati look, Hot Springs. Right. Look I haven't seen what this waterfall looks like, so they're having me not look at the sign. They said it's cool, so. As always, the trail looks very cool. And as always, the trail is very muddy in the PNW. Got a nice little mang for the waterfall. If you're new to the channel, basically, I bought a van when I was 17 years old, spent the next nine months converting it, moved out west, and I met these two guys off of TikTok. And now we are traveling the US and parts of the world together. So, been a pretty interesting ride so far. This is easily the most sketchy trail we've ever done. <laughs> you just had to walk down there. It is so steep. Oh man, I did that with a mango in my hand, camera on the chest. Quite sketch if you ask me. It's not bad? Well, it's bad, but... <laughs> We've made it to Tokati Falls, everyone. This is something straight out of like a movie. Feels like paradise here. Literally look at that. This is insane. I had no idea this was here. So you can imagine how stoked I was when we just came through this little entrance and uh, here it was. Hit it! Woo! <laughs> You a bit chilly, man. Was it nice? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> this is easily the coolest place I've been in Oregon so far. It doesn't even feel real whatsoever. Pretty gnarly waterfall. We all just jumped in. <laughs> It was the coldest water maybe of my life, but I almost died because it was so cold. Definitely worth it though. I would have been mad at myself if I didn't swim here. So yeah. I completely fell in with all my clothes on, so. I'm here editing this now, but we left Tokati Falls and went over to the hot springs. And it says 3.5 miles on the trailhead, but don't be fooled. It is just like a five minute walk. So the hot spring closes at sundown. So we're gonna get our time in now and then come back in the morning. Oh my God, we got eyes on something. Not too sure what it is. We are here at the hot springs. We got three to ourselves. There's a bunch up here, but it's a bunch of nudists. So yeah so many pools they just keep going and uh this is this is genuinely insane check it out this is our first time with warm water in a month <laughs> i got my own hot spring all to myself these guys are behind me man this is nice this is this is something y'all it's literally just filtering a bunch of new hot water in and it's a freaking hot tub in the middle of the forest. This place is absolutely insane. You got a seat here. And then there's like a bunch of pools. As you go higher, it gets warmer. It's hot. And then this one is less, slightly less warm. And then you got this one. And you come down and they just keep going. And then it goes into the river. As you can see right here, the water the hot water just funnels down, funnels down right here into all these pools and just creates a ton of hot spring pools. Oh, I'd say it's some real neat stuff according to my calculations. I'd say it's just the neatest thing. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get in one real quick. That one's deep. Oh, dude, Alex, you're kidding. This one's nice. Oh, yo. This is crazy, there were so many people here, and everyone left. And now we have this all to ourselves, basically. All right, y'all, I'm gonna sign off and uh, enjoy these springs, so I will catch you guys back at the car, where we will find a place to camp tonight. Woo! 
All right, guys, we are headed out of the hot springs now. Goodbye. We have made it back to the car and we are headed back to our other cars at Tokati Falls. All right, guys, and we are off to find a new campsite. Yeah, I just got sprayed with that thing. It was a little bit tough to find a spot, but everything is good now. I got my pasta going. If you don't know about this spice, now you know. But yeah, basically, I'm going to watch some Seinfeld and uh, hit the hay. And uh, tomorrow is going to be an even bigger day than today. So I hope you stay tuned. If not, good night, everybody. Good morning, everybody. I have so much energy today. It's a good day on the road. Buddy said he needs a tanny. It's 48 degrees out. Let's cook some breakfast. So on this particular morning, we are going to do some bagels and cream cheese because it's easy and effective. I'm just here to let you know that I am the king of shopping. I spend like probably, I said $250 a month on food, but I'm thinking it's down to like 150 to $200. I buy a big thing of cereal, um, five bucks, lasts me like a week or two. Two things of bagels, it was $4, $2 a pop, because they were great value. Thing of cream cheese, big thing of peanut butter, um, lots and lots of pasta. Like I'm talking half my pantry is pasta. But um, yeah, you just gotta shop cheap. Can't be, can't be getting no Big Macs and uh, your favorite drinks on the road. You can't treat it like a road trip. You gotta treat it like a lifestyle. Nah, but yeah, kinda. I'm gonna butter these boys up now. Y'all already know the drill. Check her out. This is how I toast things living in a van. So if you didn't know, now you know. Also, this is a van life pro tip. If you go to hotels, they give out bagels. They give out these little things. Put a couple in your pockets. You got cream cheese for the free. I think I'm actually going to take you guys to the waterfall today. Alex says he's going to do this crazy jump into the water. So we're going to see if he does it. Quick little stop at Clear Waterfalls and then we're going to go back. Or actually there's a couple more waterfalls. And then it's Tokati Falls. This is the second waterfall. Horseshoe Falls. It's pretty sick. Spent a lot of time here, but on to the next one. Let's go. So there's literally just five waterfalls and a hot springs on a 15 mile stretch here in Umqua National Forest. So you can pretty much stay entertained for like a week if you wanted to. All right, so now we're at Watson Falls. And if you can let's look closely, it's literally a man-made waterfall coming out of a pipe and funneling down, so I don't know how they even call this a waterfall. You guys should probably avoid this place on Saturdays as it is packed. Every single parking lot's gold. This is a new waterfall that we just found, calling it Freedom Falls. And that's the log Alex said he was gonna jump off of. But... Hey, all right, we're headed out. Yo, sir. I am headed out of Tokati right now. Go read my book. Uh, I think we're gonna skip the hot springs today because we enjoyed them enough yesterday. And since it is Saturday, it's gonna be super packed there. I actually found a really neat place to hang out for a little bit. So I'm gonna wash my hair off and uh, I just washed my hair off. And now I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit. And uh, it's really nice, really peaceful here. There's even a nice little waterfall down there, waterfall here, waterfall there. I am back at the van and Lord, I am exhausted. We have been up on the move for the last two days, doing hikes, all sorts of stuff. It's been super fun, but I'm ready to just chill and read a book for a little bit. So yeah, look at this little moth, motherfucker. <laughs> I woke up from a nap and drove home and now we are back where we stayed last night uh so that'll be the end of the video if you're seeing this right now and continue to support me i love you and you guys are making my life a whole lot easier out here so yeah goodbye